Good day in the neighborhood. Okay, so welcome to the shop. It's a mixed level class tonight, leaning towards level two. Okay. Um, I had to, at some one point today, I just woke, um, I just broke out laughing hysterically because as I was dropping my husband off at the Park City Mountain Resort today, some guy cut me off and, and I let out some curse words. And I, I said out loud, I said, okay, today's the day that I stop swearing. And everything has gone downhill from there. <laughs> and I have had one of those days where I just wanted to throw the computer out the window and I was just upstairs, you know, just like, I sounded like a chicken with Tourette's. <laughs> and I just thought that is hysterical. As soon as you kind of put out an intention out there, the universe may come back and test you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it didn't work. Uh, no, today was not the day. And um, I think Mercury's in retrograde. If it's not, it, it is. It has to be in retrograde. So like everything has just gone crazy, yeah? Huh. And so I was really, really grateful as I was leaving the house, one of my husband's clients said, you know, how are you, Tiffany? And I said, I'm about to be a lot better because I'm going to find my mat. Uh -huh. <laughs> so this is your little magic carpet where you get to come and totally ground and find yourself and let yourself um, <clears throat> be who you are, you know. I did find it also quite hysterical and comical as I walked into Rite Aid <clears throat> this afternoon. The first thing that jumped out at me was a card on the card rack of a bunch of Tibetan monks in their robes with their shaved heads on a roller coaster <laughs> with their arms flying up in the air like that. And I just laughed because, you know, we think that spirituality looks a certain way. And we're going to get a little twisted tonight and discover that there's all ways to view who you are and to let that just, um, let what comes up for you tonight come up. You know, if we, if Tourette, Elizabeth, she's, she's a good Tourette's yogi, you know. So if you have to embrace that part of yourself, just do it with love. <laughs> you see, go ahead and close your eyes. Yeah, nice deep breath in, and we'll do our best to drop into the heart space of where you are in the moment. Hmm. At first, you might feel a little fidgety, and that's just fine. Just take a deep breath. Fill your soul with permission to experience whatever it is that is going to present itself through your practice. And then give it a little bit of guidance. Setting an intention for your practice. A nice deep breath in, let your arms reach out and up. As you come to the top of a breath in, pull yourself right into the middle of yourself, hands to your heart center. We'll do that two more times. Just encircling yourself with permission to drop in to who you are. Letting go of what we think a good yogi looks like and noticing that they've already arrived. They're sitting right on your mat. 
answering to your first name. We'll start our practice by invoking grace, by bringing in the sound, the sacred sound of three ohms to bless the space, to bless our practice, to drop into the beauty. After three ohms, we'll take the Anisar invocation one time, followed by an ohm at the end. And it's possible that this invocation is new for you or not quite clear. So give yourself permission to either participate and make big, bold mistakes, letting go of having to be perfect, or you can open your ears, your heart, and listen and receive. Please take a deep breath in and a big breath out. Inhale together. of reverence to who you are as you are and to your journey as it unfolds. Release your hands and open your eyes. Let's come to all fours, please. Let yourself take some nice fluid breath in through your nose, out through your nose. On your next exhale, round your back like a cat. Turn inward, inhaling to pull your heart forward and up, and exhale to look inside. Let yourself start to attune to the rhythm of your breath and allow it to move you, honoring the pace that your body wants to breathe. And if the mind feels a little um, agitated from whatever's going on today, you can speed up the movement a little bit and match where you are inside. If you need to slow it down, it's the beauty of engaging the practice that is yours. Uh, as you're ready, come to a neutral shape. Strengthen your hands, tuck your toes. And with self-awareness, lift your knees an inch and hold yourself at the base of the heart. And from the heart space, continue to root down through who you are, root through your arms to lift your hips up into dog pose. Work your legs, pedaling out your dog, bending one knee and then the other. Inhale to lift your right leg up and back. And match how this posture feels with the same quality of breath. So you just start to dive in and meet yourself 
where you are. Lowering the right leg, lift your left. Ah. Equal weight on both hands. So puff up the right upper arm bone a little more, the right waistline a little more. Meet your right. Inhale. And with the exhalation, walk your feet to your hands. Inhale, reach up, touch the sky. And exhale, hands to your heart. Follow your breath, reach out, rise up. Catching a hold of the right wrist, slightly bend the knees, keeping the knees active, the backs of the calves active, thighs back, root the tail, and exhale, press through your leg bones to reach to the left. And smile, it always helps. You gotta laugh at yourself, you know. Inhale, come on up. And as you exhale, lean to your right, feel your breath, and fill in the shape of your body from the back body to the front body and left and right. Inhale, come on up. And exhale, dive forward, Uttanasana. Big open-hearted breath in. Exhale, your right leg back in a nice long lunge. Settle in and ground, anchoring left knee over left ankle. Feel your fingertips. Hmm. Please place your left hand to your upper thigh. Draw your legs to midline, and with your exhale, turn to the left, wrapping the outer left buttocks down towards the ground. Extend more fully from your pelvis through both legs to reach the left arm to the sky. Big breath here. Exhale, downward dog. Glide your heart forward, inhaling to plank. Exhale, lower. And listen to your breath up into cobra. Inhaling up. Exhaling to dog pose. Give yourself a couple of breaths. You could move around or hold the posture steady, whatever is going to allow you to embrace the moment with enthusiasm. Mm. Inhale, right leg up and back. Exhale, step forward. Landing and lunge, take a breath. Right hand to your right thigh. Activate your legs to midline, so both legs pull from periphery to core. Maintaining that midline, turn your heart to the right. Reaching the right buttocks down a little more. Extend through the bones of your legs. Right arm up to the sky. Big, full, open-hearted breath. And the exhale to downward dog. Inhale, plank. Enjoy the journey, it's yours. Lower to your belly. Lifting into your heart space, open cobra, or maybe up dog if that's your practice tonight. Exhale, lower, downward dog. We'll just take three more deep, deep breaths. Letting your breath wash away the challenges of the day and allow you to remember the truth. That you're connected to the source of love and acceptance. Please walk your hands back to meet your feet. And big breath here. If your blocks are at the, f the back of your mat where your hands and feet are, grab a hold and take them forward so they're all the way at the front of your mat. And we'll meet you there, the head of the mat in Uttanasana. And 
There we go. Inhale, reach up. Big breath. And hands to your heart, exhaling. Mm. Open to the now, reach up. Exhale, dive forward. Big open breath. Placing your hands, step your feet, plank pose. Spread your fingers evenly like rays of the sun from the center of your palm. Please bring your inner ankles to touch. Now squeeze that um, inner thigh and your inner ankles. Hold the midline there and notice it might make this plank pose a little easier. Do the same thing with your elbows and your forearms and also puff the waistline and now bring your shoulder blades firmly onto the back body. From your pelvis, press through your heels and as your hands drag backward, allow the front body to stretch through the crown of your head. Inhale to lift the right leg, one inch or two, and lower. Inhale, left leg, and lower. Inhale, dog pose, and enjoy. It feels like a rest pose, yeah? <laughs> Inhale, plank. And lower to your belly. Lift up into cobra. And exhale, downward dog. Ah. Anchoring from your heart down through your arm bones, lift your right leg up and back. Bend your right knee on track, just right on track. So the hips are square, belly's square. Lengthen from your heart again once more through your arms and continue to hug the midline between your forearms. Exhale, knee to your nose. Inhale, open up and out. Exhale, right knee to the elbow, right elbow. Inhale, open. And last time, left elbow. And open up. Lower your right leg to meet your left, and inhale to plank. Lower to your belly. Lift up to cobra, and exhale, dog pose. Inhaling left leg up and back. Pause here and breathe. Just bend your knee on track, square your hips, square your belly. And now draw your knee all the way up, exhale to your nose. Inhale, extend down through your arms, reach up and out. And exhale, left knee, left elbow. Inhale, up and out. Exhale to the right. Inhale, up and out. And lower your leg. Walk your feet forward, Uttanasana. Mm. Inhale to reach up, big breath. Grab your wrist, right wrist, and exhale, lean to the left. Mm. Inhale, right on up. And exhale, lean to the right. Inhaling to center. Anchor through the left leg. Ground through who you are and feel the asymmetry of you, reaching the right thigh bone towards the sky. Spread your toes. Big breath in. And placing your hands to your heart, gaze to the earth, step back, lunge. Hmm. Now if you would like your block for some standing postures, you can place the left block behind the left ankle. Otherwise, it will be fingertips. Turn your right heel to the earth. And stretch your right arm towards the south wall as your hips and belly open. You'll face my direction over here. Please pull your arm bone into your core. From your pelvis, root through the legs and big expansion. Take the right arm alongside your ear and breathe. Nice. 
Inhale, lift up, warrior two. The life can take us and give us some um, intensity. Match the posture with your breath, and if you need to, straighten the front left leg for a little break, or otherwise we'll hold this posture for three more sweet breaths, just really tender breaths. Hmm. And I'm listening to Sue's breath. So if your breath isn't on Sue's metronome and you've already done three, you can take dog pose. Ready? Here we go. Downward dog. Ah. Oh. <laughs> there you go. Now you can really find a place to give yourself a moment. Nowhere to go, nothing to do, just hanging upside down. Downward dog. Hmm. Hop or walk, forward fold. Anchor through your legs, inhale, reach up. And just embrace who you are all the way from your hips through your right leg. And taking a walk on the wild side, the left thigh bone lifts. And smiles always help. Hands to your heart. Life-affirming breath in, and a playful flow. Lunge. Left heel turns to the mat, toes to the long edge. If you would like block under your right hand, please take that. Stretch your left arm towards my voice. Big breath, pull the left arm into your body. Extend from your hips through your legs as that arm stretches to the sky. <sighs> And take delight in your form and fill it with reverence for being you. Inhale, arms wide, lift up your heart, warrior two. And begin to settle in for five long, beautiful breaths. Now, one thing I know for sure Whenever I'm faced with the challenges of my day, I can get through them because I know I can get through five breaths in a warrior two pose. <laughs> you just take a deep breath, find some bigger perspective, and that might have been five, yeah? Up and over, downward dog. Hmm. Hop or walk, forward fold. Rooting down through your legs, sweep your arms up, Urdhva Hastasana. And consciously land in the heart, Anjali Mudra. And we'll keep the fingertips where they are, lift the right leg one more time. Reach down with your left hand, find your knee. Now brighten up through the heart space as you lengthen through your left leg. Big breath in, lengthen the left side body. Now turn the left waistline towards the right inner thigh. Your gaze to the back of the room. Inhale, right arm reaches to the back, thumb up. Good job. Inhale, come on back to center. Oh, exhale, lunge. <sighs> Inhale, straighten your front leg. Exhale, bend. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. Turn the right toes to the long edge of the sticky mat. Power up the midline between your feet and then pull that left leg straight. Open the belly, unfurl from the left lower ribs towards the sky. And when you're ready to decorate the moment, right arm stretches up to the, the ceiling. 
Such a nice, I love, this is my favorite pose, triangle pose. Some people not, huh? Yeah, just big, expansive breath. Let yourself be who you are here. Square your hips, hand to the earth, belly to the, the earth. Shorten your stance. Pars Votanasana. Left leg straight, right leg straight. And we don't want to step it too short, so go a little further back. And that's, there you go. Pressing into either fingertips on the mat or on your blocks. Great. As you draw that left front hip towards the back of your mat, zip up the front of your belly. Yeah, give the posture some breath. Nice, Jill. Hmm. Left hand to your waistline. Get longer from left waistline to left armpit. And with exhale, turn, twisting from the right ribs towards the left. Ooh, yeah. And enjoy. Reach from your hips through the bones of your legs and stretch that left arm straight upward. Flare your fingers. It's a party in your body. Yeah, like little streamers. Inhale, unwind. Standing forward fold. Shake out your head. Hmm. Hands to your hips. Inhale, come on upright. Urdhva Hastasana. Hands to your heart. <laughs> this was my intention today, you know, if I, I really truly want to open up to the, the sage that's always present inside me, rather than getting triggered by the world around me, can I just drop into my heart space when, um, you know, a not so savory word wants to come out? I'll try. I'll keep trying. <laughs> yeah. Inner body bright. Uh, rooting through the right leg. Lift your left. Hold your heart center and stretch that right arm to the left knee. Now plug in that right arm into your shoulder socket. That'll help stabilize the connection from knee to arm. Brighten up, big breath, and from the right side, turn to the left. Left arm reaches back. Big breath in, come back around, stretch it up. And go for it, lunge. Turn your left heel to the floor, pause, discover where you are, embrace it with a higher vision and draw your legs to midline as the right leg pulls to straight. Left hand to your hip, big breath. Good. Anchor through your leg bones, and left arm extends to the sky. Just press into my hand. Yeah, now through the back leg too. There you go. Inhale, unwind. Square your belly, square your heart. And take a breath. Please reach the right hip towards the back of your sticky mat and roll the outer left hip more forward towards the right big toe. Right hand to your waistline. Big breath in, get long, long, long from belly button to palate. And turn around yourself. So you just go, oh, here I am. I'm twisted. You start to see a new light, yeah? And like the, um, who knew that monks rode roller coasters, yeah? So you just celebrate with that right arm to the sky. 
your spiritual journey doesn't look like mine or anybody else's, but we can take the same posture. Inhale, unwind. Exhale, downward dog. Inhaling to plank. Exhale, lower to your belly. Let's take your hands wide, and I call them gecko arms. So you come onto your fingertips. Lift your elbows, lift your upper arm bones. Inhale, lift and lengthen the right leg and lower. And inhale, lift and lengthen left leg and lower. Now, if you'd like, you can also take this into a cobra shape by lifting the palate into the back of the head, curling the heart open, and continue with one leg lifting and then the other. There you go. Yoga is about self-discovery. Good job. And lower all the way down. Placing your hands, curl up to cobra pose. Big breath in. Index knuckles grounded, downward dog. <clears throat> and hop or walk, forward fold. Reach up with your breath, big breath. And we'll take chair pose, bring your feet together knees together, pull low belly into low back, root the tail, lift your heart. Yeah, this is, this is one of those postures that might set off some unsavory thoughts, right? You just, and now just smile right back at it. <sighs> Twisted chair, yeah? It's like a big barrel roll, the left belly, the left waistline. Left elbow to the outer right knee. Take your right hand to the upper right thigh. Push it down. Lift the belly even more and twist a little more deeply, working the left elbow. Now hands to prayer pose here. The twisted version of chair. Flood it with breath and meet the challenge. Keep the posture here. Turn your gaze towards your toes. And left leg steps to the back of your mat. It's lunge, twisted. Ooh, ooh a twisted lunge. Awesome, guys. <laughs> yeah, nice big breath. So Sally has on the right shirt today. Every workout counts, yeah? <laughs> Yeah, now spread your wings and take flight in this particular expression. Good job. Inhale, unwind. Exhale, downward dog. Lift your right leg up and back. Bend your knee, open your hip. Ah, oh, there's a pose everyone likes. <laughs> Um, square your hips, lower your leg, and breathe. Inhale, left leg up and back. Exhale, step it through. So we'll go in the reverse order this time. Bring your hands to your front left thigh. Pause here, pull your legs to midline. When you do that, use your hands to push the, the thigh bone down and tone the belly up. Now we'll take a big reach with that right arm. Through the right hand, direction. Big breath, push down through the left hand, lift the right belly, make a turn, and face the right elbow. Pause, pull your legs to midline, hands to your heart. 
Breathe. Open to the moment here. Left hand, right hand down, left arm up. Mm -hmm. Spread your wings. Hands back to prayer. Four. Keep the twist. Twisted chair. And breathe. Yep. And gratefully unwind. And stretch it up. Hands to your heart, close your eyes. I'll take that kind of challenge 10 times out of 10 than not having the right program to open what I needed to open today <laughs> on my computer. <laughs> yeah. I'll take that challenge 10 times out of 10. Yeah, big breaths, celebrate. Chair pose. You get to do the same twist, the same way you just came out. Big breath in. Turn, revolve around yourself. Right elbow, left knee. Look to the earth. Inhale, right foot back. Another breath in, spread your wings. Ah, oh, unwind, downward dog. Left leg up and back, open your hip. Delight in familiarity, huh? even though it's the other side. Square your hips, lower your leg. Inhale, right leg up and back. Exhale, step forward to lunge. Placing your hands to your front right thigh, pause for a breath. Magnetize the midline between your feet. Puff up the waistline, stretching from your pelvis through your heels. Turn the left ribs towards the earth as you roll around. Left elbow, outer right knee. Hands to your heart, big moment of recognition. Whatever comes up in the posture, love it or laugh at it. <laughs> Left arm down, right arm up, big breath. Mm. Hands to your heart. Keep the twist, look to your toes. And exhale, twist to chair. Step left foot to meet right. Deep breath in. Mm. One more breath. Mm. Inhale and wind chair pose. And then, yay, we did it. Hands to your heart, close your eyes. Take a big wide step to your right. Interlace your hands behind you. Draw your legs towards the midline between and with reverence to who you are, bow forward. And in this deep, deep bow, take a moment and express gratitude in any form for how your Hatha yoga practice helps you show up and land in that place that can open to what's happening in the middle of your day. Yeah. Keep the elbows soft. Bend the elbows a little. Stay there. You go bend your elbows. You don't know how. Not in this shape. There you go. Yeah, that's it. Now, lengthen the side bodies. Fingertips to the earth. Release your neck, your head, shake it out. Just 
Take the modified form of Skandasana. Bend your left knee, turn your right toes to the sky. Inhale up and switch sides. Inhaling to middle, exhale to switch. Inhale to middle, exhale to switch. A couple more times on your own. Mm -hmm. Lunge facing the left foot, front of the room. Downward dog. Right leg up and back. Pigeon pose prep, right foot forward. Right knee goes past the wrist, the right wrist. Nice, Sue, that was pretty. Taking the right knee a little wider. Yep, take the wrist forward. And now you can move the leg. Yeah, there you go. Let's take one block, put it under your left hand. Draw your legs in so fully that the hips actually lift up a bit, yeah. Right hand to your heart. Please bend your left knee and pause. Spread your toes and pause. Widen the left low belly and turn the left leg inside your pelvis a little more as you start to turn the heart to the right. Reach back, right hand, left foot. Yeah. And once you get the foot, just make an auto correct and press the pinky toe to the left side of the mat. Yeah. Find that connection point where foot and hand unite and make them solid. Hug the midline between palm and foot. Honoring that connection, lift the right elbow a little more so the waistline grows. And now you have more space to offer the heart a little more. Big breath. Inhale, unwind. Oh, enjoy a, an expansion from the pelvis as the right buttocks wraps under. Walk the left leg back a little more. That's a, one way to open the psoas is to twist. We're gonna open the quads is to twist. Feels really good. And the twists can be, um, I call them an adaptogenic posture. Now, if you're feeling like really hairy and really crazy, the twists can kind of bring you back down to earth, you know, where you can be nice again. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I needed that. That's why we're doing twists today. <laughs> oh, big, bright breath. And downward dog. Other pigeon. So left leg up and back. Step it forward and through. Take your time at first. Just find the parts of your body that touch the ground. Take a deep breath there. So you always opt out of the pigeon, yeah? Yeah. Is it because of your knees? Your knees. Okay. How does this feel? Feels good? Yeah. All right. Definitely. All right, good. Placing the block under your right hand, pause for a moment. So you just get a little more height, a little more opportunity to 
expand into your enlightened being. <laughs> like, who is that? Has she shown up yet? <laughs> yeah, just know that she's always there. Or he's always there. And pull your legs into your body and honor that. Place your left hand to your heart as a sign of remembrance. You know, you've had those moments where you are clear and in love. <laughs> Bend your right knee and pause. Widen the right low belly, the outer right hip. Yeah, maintain that. You're doing good. And turn left hand, right foot. If you can, grab the foot on the baby toe side. If that's just too much to ask, then so turn the hand 180. Boom, 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 and there it is. Yeah. Now, with alacrity, pr press that baby toe into your hand. Yeah. That creates more shins in. And you can start to press the upper right thigh out. Boom. Yes. Awesome, girls and boy. <laughs> Inhale, unwind. Lengthen through your pigeon. A couple more breaths. Active extension from your pelvis. Rooting down and out. Rise up into ah, a moment of self Awareness, downward dog. Inhale the left leg up and back. Step it forward and through. Turn your right heel to the earth and walk your hands this direction for what I call lunge dog. So you're a, like a sideways posture, upper thighs back and wide, left buttocks wraps down underneath, tracking the left knee towards the left pinky toe. Yes, if you have an awesome pedicure, you may acknowledge that in the moment. If <laughs> If your pedicure doesn't jump out at you and it creates other sorts of thoughts, just let that pass by. Now, go ahead and bend and straighten that left leg a few times. Bend and straighten. Yeah, track the knee towards third and fourth toe when it bends towards the pinky toe. The other third and fourth. <laughs> Good. Now hold the legs straight and walk your left arm underneath your left leg. A little further, a little further. Good. Right hand to your hip. Bend your left knee and reach the left arm up and around to the back of your waist. Inhale, reach that right arm up and around, looking for your fingertips. Now lean that left shoulder into your right inner knee and allow the low belly to reveal the heart as you draw your upper arm bones into the back plane of your body. Big, full, bright breath. Nice, Sally. Press your back body, your left shoulder, into your inner left thigh. Ah. Oh. Press your palate back. You got it. Now look at the earth and unwind yourself. Oh, oh my gosh. Yeah. That one either made you want to sing like praises or it made you want to just like Tourette's Yogi was happening on the inside. <laughs> Square your hips and straighten your front left leg. Mm, lift your toes and breathe. Shorten your stance a bit. All right, here we go. Walk your hands to the left and corkscrew your legs with you. So turn the toes towards the left. Upper thighs crisscross. Yep, yep. Now straighten the legs. Whoop, straighten the legs. Oh, 
Yes, now moderate what's happening inside the body, <laughs> what's happening inside your mind, and give it love. Give it space to yell and scream. And look for that place where you can meet the intensity from a higher place of awareness, knowing this will be over soon. It can't keep going. Press your right upper thigh into the left hamstring. So bend your right knee a little bit. Yeah, push the, th push the thigh. Now pull the left hip more behind you. Yes, now straighten your legs more. Whoa. All right, happily unwind. Whew. Happily unwind. Downward dog. Whew. Yeah, shake out your legs. They're like rubber bands. <laughs> Mm. Now take the next couple breaths in downward dog to just be in downward dog because it's a choice right now. You could start to pre-suffer the other side or you can just go, oh, look at how awesome this moment is. Uh, inhale, right leg up and back. And see what excites you about doing the other side, yeah? Right leg forward. Turn your left heel to the floor. We'll take lunge dog. It's a side angle lunge dog. Ah. Nice. Contract here. Roll it down and up. This knee. There you go. Excellent. Now stay with your breath and stay with the movement. Right leg straight, right leg bent, right leg straight, right leg bent. Tracking your knee as it bends, so it's a skillful dance. Because the knee wants to dip towards your right hand, towards your right toes. So when it bends, you push it wide and there you get a hip opener. Yeah. Good. The next time you pull the right leg straight, take a deep breath bow of remembrance of your highest self and reach underneath with that right arm. Walk it way further back. Walk the fingertips towards the yogi behind you. Hug your legs to midline, bending the right knee. Bend your right elbow and wrap it. Left hand up and over, wrap it. Pause and take a breath. You don't have to get there right away. Feel your legs. Now lean the right shoulder into the right knee. Press your palate back. And now pull the upper arm bones into the back plane of the body. And the twist happens from the right low belly turning upward, upward, upward. Yeah. Inhale, look to the earth. And unwind. Pause and breathe. Right leg straight, left leg straight, square your hips. Ah, oh, shake out your head. <laughs> and here we go. Corkscrew to the right, turn your feet, turn your hands. Hmm. Notice what you notice. Embrace it, take a breath. I'm mindful of not hyperextending the back knee. So press the left knee forward towards your toes. Press the, that upper thigh into that right hamstring and now scissor the legs. Squeeze the points of contact, the midline points. Mm-hmm. Inhale, unwind. Oh, downward dog. Inhale to your knees. Exhale to child's pose.
Big breath in through your nose and let it out through your mouth. Make a sound. Yeah, a sound. <laughs> Come forward, all fours. Mm. Have a seat in Vajrasana. So that means the, the ankles and the heels come together. And you nestle the sit bones right over the heels like you're um, incubating your feet. Yeah. Place the right fingertips to the floor. Inhale, left arm up. Good. Now pull the waistline back and then reach through your leg bones as you arc over to the right. Pete, cross your legs in Stukhasana, this pose. Yeah, there you go, just Pete. Unless you wanna change your name, Sally. <laughs> Inhale to middle. And over, waistline back, reach the right hip towards the earth. <sighs> Inhale back to middle. Ah, okay, work. Let's take um, a little squat. So heels are off the floor and come to prayer pose. All right, good. Root down, rise up. Face the uh, right in the middle of your mat, same pose, feet together, heels together. If you'd like to try this from the top down, you know, you can. If your knees are a little tricky today, take yourself to the squat in any way that works for you. Inhale, lift up. It's a releve. <laughs> Hands to your heart, gaze on the earth. <laughs> and start to send the core, the pelvic floor, pubic bone, tailbone, right straight down to the earth. Yeah. Lean to the right with your right hand. Inhale, left arm up. Waistline back. Look to the right hand. Left elbow to outer right thigh. Pause. Widen your hands like you would for chaturanga. Lift the, the low belly up and deepen the twist. Connect like glue. Left elbow to right thigh. Walk your hands forward, pitch forward, squeeze the elbows in. If you need to, feet can go wider and more forward. Lift the left leg. Now squeeze the knees and magnetize. Right leg up. Revolved Bekasana, nice. Both feet up, yes, you got it. And slowly come down, come back to center. And breathe. Take your squat, hands to your heart. Listen to your breath. Left fingertips to the earth. Inhale, left arm up. And exhale, elbow to knee. Yeah. Pause and get grounded for a breath. Work the elbow a little further back towards the middle thigh if you can. Right elbow, middle thigh. Twisting, walk your hands forward. Squeeze the elbows in towards each other. Midline between the elbows, yes. Walk the feet a little wide and forward. Lift the right leg. 
Now push the left thigh down into the right elbow and lift both legs. You can do it, I gotta bend your elbow. Now walk the feet back a bit and forward towards your toes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there you go. Now pitch forward. Good. Oh, you got the shape of the pose. Nice, Julia. Okay, the hands are too narrow. It's gonna be a little, this will be really hard, yeah. Okay, here's the pose, I'll show you. Can I borrow your mat? Okay. As we reach down, you just take a big breath, get really long and tall. Elbow to inner th or outer thigh. Precision. So you place your hands, squeeze the elbows, pitch forward. You can walk the feet forward, and then you got to squeeze the elbows in again. Start to notice where you are, and you feel the outer thigh pressing into the elbow, and it's actually not comfortable. Squeezing in, lift one leg. Now magnetize. You got to push the legs down into that supportive arm. It asks a lot of the yogi <laughs> to stay patient, you know, and to be in the uncomfortable, to give it some breath and go, but you guys did great, because one, one version that everyone did was lifting the top leg. Now to get from here to the rest of the pose, feel yourself bear weight and trust it. The point of contact where the elbow and the, and the leg is, is, it might elicit some sort of, ah, you know? <laughs> It's not comfortable, but if you think of it like a mean massage therapist <laughs> and they're getting into your IT band and they're going to release it, you know? So it's a pressure, pressure, pressure. So let's try one more time each side. How about that? Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> so come down to your squat. Take a breath, and some of you can open this up into Ekapada Kuninasana one, yeah? Right fingertips to the ground, pause. Big breath, left arm up. And get really long, squeeze your knees together here, and all the way down, twist. Puff the right waistline up so that left elbow can go more deeply. There you go. Pitch yourself forward, think chaturanga. You can walk the feet <laughs> forward. Now trust, lift the left leg and squeeze the knees. Yes, breathe. Use the right leg, press it down into the arm, push the arm up into the leg. You're so close, Sue. It's really far forward, Sue. It's way far forward. Pull the heart forward. You gotta pitch the body forward. Look forward. Yep. <laughs> it's way more than you think. Awesome, Nancy. One second. One second counts. <laughs> Do the other side. One second counts. Come on. <laughs> Upright. You're sitting That's upright. That's okay. <laughs> You're welcome.
Getting the feet off the floor does not mean you're doing the pose. General form and shape of the pose. You've got to take the gaze way forward yeah, and be willing to dive into yourself. Squeeze the, the, squeeze the left elbow towards the right, the one that's not bearing weight on, nothing's bearing weight on. Pull it in. Squeeze it in. This one. Yeah. You got it. <laughs> Good job. Lie on your backs. Lie on your backs. Oh, there's a pose we like. Yeah? Can do this, one. this one we like. Twist it out side to side. I know everyone in the space has enough relation of a relationship with the practice of yoga to know that it's the challenging postures, the ones that we don't get right away that offer the most. And when you come up against the boundaries of who you are, I think it's a natural instinct to feel frustrated. Well, what's below that? as an opportunity to really love. Please take a figure four with right ankle over left leg. Reach through the window and grab the back of your left leg with both hands. Pull it up. Yeah, like that. Does that feel all right? Good. Lift your left foot towards the sky and bend your knee and lift your left foot towards the sky and bend your knee and again. There you go. Place your left foot to the earth and you can either take baby cradle with left arm around sole of right foot or hold the heel on the shin. Yes. Spread your toes, pressing the big toe mound to the left and pull the baby toe down into the forearm so that the foot has got the mountain pose shape. Yeah. Now, big breath into your back body. Inhale, stretch the left leg down along the floor, pressing through the left heel. And breathe into the tension in your pelvis. You got it. <laughs> Clarify the foot. Use your core strength, tone your abdominals, and pull the left leg straight up towards the sky. And now we'll use your core strength to rock and roll this baby cradle or variation to a seated pose. Mm hmm And here we go. Ah, oh, smile. Ah. Oh. What's there to love? Grab the baby toe edge, grab your heel. Pressing down through the inside seam in the left leg, push the big toe mount on the right foot towards the sky. And come back to the baby cradle shape. Inhale, straighten it out. 
Exhale, bring it back. Inhale, straighten it out. Exhale, bring it back. Baby cradle or not, your version. And we'll start to roll down back to where you started. Anytime you can bend the left knee and help yourself to the earth. Release the right leg. Hold both knees with each hand. Knees wide apart and rock and roll side to side. <sighs> and rein it in. Left leg, figure four, left ankle over right leg and breathe. Reaching through the window, hold the back of the right leg. Listen to your breath. Inhale, right leg straight. Exhale to bend. Inhale to straighten. Exhale to bend. A couple more times. Place your right foot to the earth and baby cradle that left leg. Big breath, active feet. <laughs> yeah. Breathe into your back body and the next breath in will stretch the right leg towards the earth. Nice. Big breath. Now pull your arm bones into your shoulders. Yeah. Mm. Go ahead and lift your right leg upward. And use your core. Come upright. Breathe here. Ah. Oh. Mm-hmm. Hold your heel and the baby toe side of your foot. Inhale, press your left leg to straight. And exhale to bend. Lead with the mount of the left big toe. And now turn the knee and the inner thigh wide as you bend the knee. Yeah. Good. And one more time. Up. And bend. Using the left hand, cup the left heel from underneath. Now stretch the right arm forward and arch a foot into elbow. You got it. Holding from below, breathe. Nice, Jill. It's awesome. Big breath. And you can slowly lower down, bending your right knee if you need to, when you need to. Yeah, breathe into your hips. Nice, yes. <laughs> like weebles are wobbling. Good. Keep the foot really strong. Yeah. And release. Holding your knees with each hand. Breathe. Happy baby. Lower your legs one foot at a time. 
Stretch your legs down and please take a supine Tadasana before you enter Shavasana. Yeah, root through your heels, spread your toes, arms up over your head, big stretch. And release. Take your feet a little wider than your hips and let them relax and release. Gently wrap your fingers around your thumbs. And soften your jaw, your eyes, your root of your tongue. Take a nice, slow breath in through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. And release your hands. Allow the earth to cradle you from below. T. 
Deepen your breath. Each time you consciously engage your breath, you allow yourself to remember that you are wise, grounded, and anchored in the knowing that your spiritual practice is yours. It's with you wherever, however. Allow your fingers to slowly move, fingertips. And when you're ready, you can bend one knee at a time, stretch your arms up over your head. And follow the wisdom of exhale to a fetal pose. Anchoring through your pelvis, use your hands to come upright to your seat. As you draw your hands to your heart space, honor the yogi that is you. Close our practice with one sweet om. This beautiful sound that may eventually overtake the um, the Tourette's yogi within and come out at any moment like a flower. Deep breath in. Big breath out. Inhale together. Ooh. Hmm. Namaste.